I'm sorry, I forgot to start the um, recording. So I'll just summarize, right? Okay, so <laughs> Janifa is talking about these two goddesses in her life. She loved to play with babies. She loved to take care of babies, play with dolls. When she was growing up and her cousin grew up with the family and she took care of her cousin and then in school. Okay, go ahead, Janifa. Okay, so uh, in my class, uh, as an example uh, of Artemis, uh, so my ranking wasn't on top, but I will try to keep my rank under five. And also we had an extra mark for clean books, clothes and behavior. And on this part, my number were so good. And my study also uh, good. So I, uh, I, my, so there is, I am similar to Artemis in my childhood. And my adulthood, uh, I was similar to Athena and Athena. And I had many changes in my in my behavior. I began to step up, uh, step out of my own series, serious and reserved world to blend in with other people. Slowly, I became an extroverted girl who liked to gather and socialize with friends all the time. And I gained social skills and improved my communication skills. And um, do you want me to go to the next one? No, ma'am. And as like Athena, I'm I'm the princess of my father, and I have I have confident, and I also I also can do art and. Craft. I have interested on this, and in my school program, I used to uh, I used to uh, participate in many programs and achieve prizes. Next slide, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, Athena and Artemis in my life. Uh, how it's after coming to AWI, I'm so focused on becoming a successful woman. Being here in a new environment, a new community, gives me knowledge every day. There is no limits to how much I can learn. So here it is. Uh, here, I think I have so. Uh, my life is going so well. I have clear vision, and I'm working so hard to get a success. And that's why. Um, also, I no longer think about uh, about anything that will uh, that will be a um, that will stop me from from my successful life. And I will try to join and gathering with people and really love meeting new people. So all these things will uh, all these things will help me to become a financially stable in paying my rent and bills on my own. Thank you. Oh, very good. Good. Any questions or comments? We have about one minute, two minutes. Anybody? Okay. Yeah, Professor. Yeah, Kaula, you wanna present? Yes, Professor. Okay, I think I have yours on here. Um, let's see. Here we go. Let's see, which one? That's Rafa, this is you. All right, go ahead, go for it. Okay. Uh, hello everyone. I hope you are doing well and safe. So in the beginning, I want to say everyone must understand that women occupy a greater position in society in terms of being of the maker of hope and the prayer of vision for others. Women should be valued and respected by, by both men and women themselves. 
Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty and love, also stated that women view men view women as the ones who arouse man's lust and stimulate his sexual instincts with her beauty. In this regard, women were not fully respected as they were treated as a command to be sold. So, to start, talk about here an example of goddesses that are related of my nature. First, the goddess Pauline. Pauline is a pregnant woman with real vision and support, and she believes that the principle behind every great man is a great woman, and a man must support a woman and provide the necessary support for her to achieve what she wants. Secondly, the goddess Persephone, who tried to make a woman unbeatable and tidy, and dependent woman who knows her own destiny and aspire to achieve her goals without waiting. No support from any man, a strong woman who is never defeated, a woman who manages and hardship of life and strength, a woman who doesn't hesitate to make her own decisions, a woman who cannot submit to any man in order to turn to him, and a woman who is able to live in peace and fulfill all her ambitions. Finally, Let's take a look at the goddess Hera, who talks about a woman who married and had children to a man who didn't change because of he married and constant to his wife. But he continued his old habit of cheating on his wife again. From my point of view, I see that Hera was so weak that she allowed him to abuse her and treat her and her children harshly. She's an example of a weak woman who wasn't able to maintain her dignity and respect her happiness. She found herself suffering like her mother and what she suffered before. This is how a woman has always been afraid of a man, which makes this fear spread to all women. I was also one of the negative aspects Hera did she viewed marriage for aspects that didn't depend on her remaining and her whole life with a partner. The culture brought by Hera is so sophisticated and spoiled by mistreatment of males. It spaced me off once I tried to maintain relationships that were absolutely useless. The family, this integration that occurs but because of this identity and separation of parents on the other hand leads to satisfactory psychological effects on the children. Second page please. Here I have the thesis statement. I have a desire to connect with the personalities of the goddesses, even they have weakness sites. I have always been drawn to strength sites, which help me to increase my strength and determination to achieve my goals. Second, please. There you go. Here, my childhood was like the goddess Persephone. I was a quiet girl who collected flowers from a beautiful river and played with all children of the neighborhoods without feeling shy. I was filled with boldness, passion, and love. My parents were so proud of me and they tried to predict what my future will be. I was born in a poor family. My father would do the impossible to make my happy and to see smile on my lips. He was doing work that was torture and hardship in order to provide me my needs. I studied at the time and thought that to help them to buy my, for my studies, 
When I graduated from school, they enjoyed the the joy of their face. Faces were indescribable. Their mother's support for me was more important than anything else. I saw my female female colleagues who had money but lacked of moral support. It's true that at that time that I didn't have much financial support, but I had to work, but thanks to the effort of my parents. Next, please. Okay. You'll have to, you just have five more minutes, so. Okay. As a teenager, I was loved with more than anything, during which time I got to know a lot of people, including bad guys who tried to break my persistence and ambitions. And some of them tried to th think that I was just a girl I wouldn't think of, don't give up. They were, all, they are always sold entertainment like the beautiful and sexy girl that everyone flirts with. I was that girl full of passion and I hope that she achieves her dreams and um, she's in life. Who was happy around her even with one word. I respected and I respected all girls and encourage every girl to continue and achieve what she wanted because she is also the entity and powers of the society and integrate part of it. I would wake up every morning with a new hope that one day my dreams will come true and I wouldn't let anyone destroy my powerful dreams that keep me full of energy and vitality every day. Actually, this is me. I am a mixture of love, patient, ambitious, strength, humanity, and creativity. I will not be satisfied. I won't be a point in the line because beautiful things have no end. And I also had a bad experience in terms of being attached with a person and ended with breaking up. Next, please. I have moved to the university, which is the stage of realizing that he dreams acquiring a new knowledge and new relationships, and was able to get a job as an English teacher. I was able to provide support for my sisters to achieve their dreams and aspirations. I was able to give them the moral and material support that my family couldn't provide for me. I struggled on my own to achieve these dreams. The university stage where we may sometimes feel frustrated by the difficulties we will face each day, but our hopes remain shining among the darkness. In my college years, I am very careful to choose men, including my friends, for fear that I will fall in love or that one of my dreams may take away from me. I woke up every morning hoping it will come true and I return for my confidence. Next, please. Actually, in the future, I took forward to being a supportive person for Yemeni women in increasing awareness forms about women's need to be strong and to say no to the men's injustice to them. By mentioning my story and the stories of other goddesses. And thank you so much. Very good. I finished. So this really looks like Athena right here, right? Justice. Um, there you go. All right, anybody ha have a question or comment for Kaula? Yeah, Marcia, very good. All right. Um, all right, so who is next? Let's see. Um, uh, Fayaza, I think you came. Um, Fayaza, are you there? Uh, yes, Professor. Can I share okay. with you? Yeah, oh yeah, actually just a second. I didn't change it yet. 
All right, there you go. Thank you, Commissioner. You got it? It's focusing. Very go. Very good. Can you able to see? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone, and good morning, professors. Uh, like uh, I'm going to tell about myself, uh, how it's connected with the goddesses, and uh, the for me it's goddesses mean something inside the inner power that is showing a outside how I am acting and how I am like what is motivating me. So that is goddesses uh, uh, to me as well. Like so, if if I uh, talking about my childhood. It's uh, it's more uh, different from others because I know everyone's uh, writing about which we have studied and uh, some of us like different something. So, but to me, like I found something uh, different and I searched after the, this uh, and I asked from my mother as well what uh, how I was in childhood. Uh, so she's just uh, give this like. I was like a Hesias, uh, it's called like a silent and uh, quiet one, uh, uh, like stillness. Uh, I was like uh, much silence when I was in Chai. Uh, like I'm not uh, that much uh, connecting with the people. I was uh, very quiet in uh, my nursery schools and all. So Fortuna, it's a luck. That is my meaning of my name. <laughs> my mother used to say I'm luckiest one. And I also feel like uh, uh, that, that, that is the one like uh, I'm motivating myself. Oh, I'm a luckiest one. So uh, that is one I was thinking. And another one is Hestia. Uh, like I'm a most of family addiction person uh, because you know why when I was in school uh, so there's a school uh, trip but I I didn't mean uh, I feel much worried uh, separating from the home um, as well as like uh, taking care of family because we are each other is very important uh, because my mother is a teacher, so she has to go to the school and my father is working, so he wants to go. So we are four of us and we will take care of each other because we have the only two years gap. So that is kind of uh, careness and addiction to the family. At the same time, like uh, I'm the one help to keep the peace uh, in home. Uh, <laughs> most of the time, like... Uh, when my brother and my elder sister or someone's like fighting, like I was like, don't fight, and I I I don't like to uh, uh, um, I don't like uh, to see something violence or fightness. Like really, I hate it. So I really love the peace. Um, after uh, my adulthood, um, so it's until now, like. Uh, I I just think like Athena because I, I have the leadership quality. Uh, I found out that my after my uh, sorry after my ordinary level uh, when I was in school uh, I'm uh, lead I'm in prefects uh, they are the students leader so that time like uh, I just uh, learned many things about it uh, just uh, how how to be a good leader how to communicate with others, how to uh, build a team. And also I, I feel like I have something inside like the leadership quality. Uh, at the same time, like uh, I'm much kindness to everyone. Uh, like, uh, 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 and until that, like uh, I much like, uh, I have to focus on studies. Uh, so the educating the, you know the basically that uh, that path is very important even when when in Sri Lanka because uh, that is important like uh, the after that A level we have to go to the university and we have to study we have, we have to more focus on studies that period um, um, that's it and 
the hygiene is like <laughs> i don't know how many of you know about this uh, there's a healthy concern because i love to keep myself uh, very healthy so <laughs> that's why I, uh, because uh, most of most of them like in now also like uh, i'm much like less oily the hygienic food i will find uh, that kind of food because i'm much concerned about it so in in sorry hector it is uh, i don't know how many of you know that like that is the unmarried women because uh, i i i the thing is like i'm not uh, when until i become a, a empower i don't want to marry so i i like to be like this because i feel like the wedding is like carrying something like uh, i think i can't handle both so i was like until i independent i have to i, I want to be uh, unmarried so the night and moon uh, that's me like mostly i like the black and white um keep myself calm with others uh, mostly like uh in now also like i like to buy the black color clothes my mama used to ask why i always buy the black clothes but i don't know why that that make me feel a very comfort and very confident that's so, why i just uh, like to buy the black color clothes you know so but in here i mention like a hera because my parents want to be how Uh, because i told uh, i am a family addiction person so i just feel that my uh, family is worrying about my wedding you know so i feel uh, this is my parents want to be but i ask the time period to them until i become a independent uh, give me a time period so this is i promise to them i will be <laughs> so that's why i mention here and this thing in future like artemis because uh in my overall goal is like uh making the charity home for the uh, street people street people only mostly i focus on the women and children so the protecting of the young children is like very important because that is my overall goal to build the charity home so that is the i just mentioning here and like independent because artemis is very independent i i really love to be independent uh, I, i don't know like i because now i'm just depending because i'm studying because i have to uh, depending on my family but uh, up in future i don't want to depend to them and i want to be very independent i really like to be like this so here is i make mention like activities like that is the equality which is i really love it equality in gender uh, that's why i'm studying much about the feminist and gender because now i am strengthening my uh, i'm strengthening my knowledge and uh, getting uh, more aware of it so that's why i choose to study this uh, the women issues and feminist and gender studies like that so that's it thank you everyone if we have any questions <laughs> okay you can shut it down thank you anybody have a question or comment um so i think fatima is next okay professor okay Can you share, can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Uh hi everyone. I hope you know you all know me. My name is Fatima Khatun. Uh today I'm going to focus on the metal. Mm. In in my childhood, the first thing I discovered in my uh, life was the resemblance of the metal to my aunt who uh, host um archaeology was not like the matters but uh, she was permanently and deeply influenced by her pregnancy and child rearing experience and she was keen to take care of 
uh, of the baby for her neighbors and uh, in adolescent life in my uh, education uh, was i i learned how to seek motherhood and i have applied it to continue my uh, my studies when i was 15 years old my parents decided to drop out my school and get married uh, but i never want uh, to ruin my life when i drop out to school and end up in a a bad situation because I see uh, that whenever I get married in my community, they are not apply without education. And after a few years, uh, they get uh, divorced. So I was very worried about my life until I came to AUW and how I am independent now. Uh, uh, in fact, it was my hope uh, how to independent uh, I became in my life. And then as, a, uh, as an archetype, Demeter represents the full uh, maternal instinct through pregnancy or by providing physical, mental, or spiritual uh, narcissism, uh, nourishment um, to others' health. And in any relationship where she can be a nurturing person, Archaeology is not limited to just being a mother. So, uh, Demeter, uh, Demeter is um, the strongest ideal of a woman mentally. Being a mother is the most uh, important role and function, I think, in her life. Uh, in my study life, I even did for one year. So, uh, it was a very sad moment in my life until I came to AUW, my family members felt remorse for one year. Eventually, uh, I had a hard time solving the problem, uh, even though I was a student and not a mother like Demeter. On the other hand, when Demeter was deeply hurt and confused because uh, her adult children bothered her and she did not understand why her children treated her so badly. Um, when uh, uh, others, others' mothers have children who love and appreciate them to and to her. So it is very different to me and I understand why I had to face this kind of problem in, in my life. Thank you, everyone. Very good. Any question? Yeah, I just want to say, yeah, to Fatima, to how, she, like she said, her parents dropped her out from school. So how that situation you overcome and how you started to do again in your study? Yeah, because uh, I overcome it. I ignore my parent point. I I, I said that I, I'm, I'm not uh, longer to live in, in this world. I just blackmail her like that. And then they uh, both are angry. Uh, to become my point. Yeah, that's a strong voice. That's great. Inspiring yeah. us, actually. Yeah, very good. Yeah, so many AEW students have overcome so much. I actually, now I'm at Lyon College and I had supper with some of the faculty friends. And I told them some of the stuff my students go through and they just go, oh my gosh, Lion students should really know about this because they, they tend to feel sorry for themselves. There's no comparison. Um, but anyway, yeah, these students are so admirable. Um, Taslima, go ahead. Yes, Professor. <laughs> Hello, Professor. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, we can see it. Hello, everyone. Hope you are doing well. 
Uh, I'm Taslima. Uh, um, this is about uh, the connected uh, between me and the goddess. Um, I chose Atemis goddess. Uh, I think uh, uh, more. Most of the most of my character and habit uh, is uh, very similar to Artemis Gorgeous. Um, uh, childhood in Artemis. Um, when in my childhood, when I was a child, um, uh, I was very uh, strong. Um, uh, my my parent always uh, encouraged me to be uh, strong and to make decision my own, my my own and uh, stand up uh, um, myself. And even though. Uh, um, in my childhood, my parents sent me a uh, school away from my uh, from my family uh, because of if I uh, we are, uh, even I I didn't have I didn't have any relative or I, I didn't know anyone uh, where uh, I was a study um, uh, because of uh, my parents said uh, send me away from my family uh, if I go uh, if I if I go away. Uh, from my family, they think uh, I can um, uh, I can go through uh, uh, um, different kind of situation, then uh, which make me a strong, uh, which make me uh, uh, which can improve my self confidence. And I uh, I was um, I am also independent from my childhood to, uh, until now um, uh, because. Uh, uh, I can do anything. I can go anywhere. I can make any decision. Uh, uh, my family, my family can. Uh, my family doesn't control me to do uh, uh, to go or to do anything. They always support me uh, because of they want to. Uh, they want to uh, make me independent. Uh, even in my in uh, yeah uh, in my village, uh, there was no any educated woman. So my parents always wanted uh, me to be educated and independent so that the other people can see me, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the other uh, people can see me and then they, uh, their children also, uh, they, uh, yeah, they, it will help uh, them to make their children to be independent. And I, uh, when I was a uh, child, uh, even uh, yeah, in my school life, uh, I, I always participate in a sport, uh, a different many kind of a sport and club. Uh, yeah, uh, in my uh, school, in my childhood uh, school, there was not a uh, female from our uh, Muslim community. Uh, if uh, 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 yeah, if uh, they don't, our our society don't uh, do uh, didn't allow to go their uh, doctor to uh, to study uh, at the time for a study away from my family. Uh, I also wanted how uh, a, a, a girl can do, uh, how, how a female can be independent, how a female can uh, can be like a, a yeah. Uh, in my adult house, um, yeah, I, I'm like a, in a, 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 in a sphere, uh, inspiration for other people in my community because um, because as my, as I am very independent, I am uh, like uh, Artemis. I am uh, still a resident girl um, uh, because my parents uh, never forced me to get married. Uh, yeah, I can do for, uh, the, uh, whatever I want. Uh, Every decision is mine. My family didn't uh, doesn't interfere in my life. And uh, also, uh, when in my high school uh, before I came uh, at UDBU, uh, there was all, uh, I, I was the one uh, the uh, I was the one from my village. But uh, I also had two uh, two friends uh, from uh, from uh, the nearest of my village. Um, uh, at the time, most of the uh, most of the boys they want they they try to flirt me, or they may, uh, they try to mistreat with me, and uh, because of uh, in our community they, they uh, in our Muslim community they uh, don't allow uh, female to be educated uh, there. That's why, but 
I I didn't um, I never ever give up. I I continued my study and I fight against them. Um, I challenge with them how you, you can do. I am uh, I am female, but I can. Uh, uh, you can't do anything. I also have the power. Then I always show my power. Then uh, also my uh, other two friends, I always protect them. Even when uh, uh, we go anywhere uh, with uh, uh, with boy, then I always uh, like, uh, even if we need, if we have to sit with boy, then uh, my uh, I always sit with boy because of I, I want to protect my friend because of they are very weak. So, uh, after seeing me uh, in my village, there are a lot of uh, most of the family. They want to uh, they want to uh, encourage their children, their doctor to to for education and to be independent. Even though in AUW, uh, they are uh, for for a student, they, they came to study here because of I I am here for three years. This is my third year at AUW. So they they believe me, uh, yeah. They uh, they explain their doctor about me, how I can I can stay alone uh, away from my family, how I can uh, strong. Then they they uh, they convince their doctor. Uh, then then they send uh, here for studying. And yeah, um, like I think I am. Adenis is uh, Adenis was uh, promised to be uh, to stay unmarried. Uh, I uh, in my in Islam it is forbid to stay uh, unmarried. Uh, even though I, if I if I get uh, married, I can help uh, uh, people and my family. Even though I, I uh, uh, yeah now I I don't I don't want to get married. I want to stay like Adenis. Now, but um, because of I have to do a lot of things for my family and my community and my people. So um, yeah, this is the it's a little bit different uh, from uh, Artemis because he want to stay forever uh, unmarried for forever. And yeah, getting angry. Yeah, uh, from my childhood, uh, it is yeah, it is very similar with Artemis. <laughs> I am. Uh, yeah, I get angry immediately. If, uh, uh, especially when someone uh, in front of me, if someone ha is annoying or hurting uh, one innocent people, I can't control myself. Why are you doing like this? I can't even. I can't keep silent because of I know why. Uh, even I know the person is innocent. Something like that. I can't. It's it's very even though uh, my anger is very uh, weakness of mine because i can manage uh, without angry i can convince the people uh, to um, not to repeat it, uh, it again so yeah thank you okay all right so i guess one comment i have is that like Tazlima is clearly Artemis, right? Just straight shot. But other students really have a lot of different ones. And I do think that's pretty amazing. And it's nice to find out that about each other. And it's also nice to find it out about yourself, I think. Um, so I think we still have Sauda. And is Sauda, yeah, Sauda's there. Is there anybody else I'm missing besides Sauda who has not presented? Because then we'll make it, we'll be fine with time. We'll be done by uh, in another 25 minutes at, you know, at the most. And that's what I told you right an hour and 15 minutes. So I think we're doing great for time. Um, I think, I'll call on each of you in Saudistan one final comment, right, about the class or the presentations or something. So we will leave at whatever, 9, 10, 15. Um, Sauda, go ahead.
Uh, hello, good morning, everyone. Hello, Professor. Today I'm presenting about the goddesses whose characters are matching with me. Can you can you move it forward? Can you hear me, Professor? Yes, everything's fine. So go ahead. Uh, okay. In this semester, uh, I learned seven goddesses. They are Artemis, Athena, Demeter, Persephone, Aphrodite, Hera, Hestia. Uh, this is my thesis statement of my essay. If I were asked to choose one of the goddesses that match my character, I would choose goddesses of deity for my uh, past. The main features about Aphrodite, which was matched with me, is emotional. When I was uh, I was child, I was really introverted person. Uh, I used to study uh, properly in school and I used to get also good marks, but I won't talk with anyone. Uh, I wouldn't share my thoughts with anyone or else. Uh, my parents also were very uh, worried about my behavior. I was even treated medically was uh, Medical also, the character of Aphrodite played an important role in my past. Uh, this is my present. Uh, you want to change the slide? Move forward. Yeah, Professor, I changed. Oh, I don't actually. I don't see that you changed it. I still have the first one on my screen. Yeah, it's so the same for us. What? What? Okay, Professor, I'm sharing again. I mean, uh, as Professor can see, you're changing slides. I also can see. I just I can see the first one on there. There, there's the second one. Can you see now? Yes, and you can. Yeah, your thesis statement. Very good. Okay, go to the next one then. Very good. Okay, in the present. Okay. Yes, Professor. Uh, for my present, uh, I would like to choose goddesses Athena and Hestia. Okay, and you can explain why. I have a lot of common uh, features with Goddess Athena. I love to draw a lot. As a childhood, I won many prizes for drawing in my uh, spare time. I still love to draw like the Goddess Athena. I also inspire women to continue their study. I work in a team in my society uh, about this, where I encourage my neighbors to provide her, uh, higher education to their girls. About Hestia, uh, I work distributing relief in my areas uh, where I help the poor and needy in my area with a variety of food, clothes, and other necessities. I'm also an independent minded person uh, like Hestia. And for future, I would like to choose uh, Artemis, Athena, Hestia, and Demeter. Uh, about Demeter, uh, the, uh, sorry, about Artemis, Artemis nature's love side is similar to mine. I also try to act honest like goddess Artemis, as Artemis worked hard to achieve his goal, her goal. I also try to overcome all kinds of obstacles to achieve my goals. I also love 
plants and animals like her. A few months ago, uh, I went to my aunt's house in Dhaka where there are three uh, dogs in front of their house, but because they, are, they were street dogs, no one cared for them and didn't allow them to eat properly. When I was uh, there, I would also feed them and play with them. Uh, I really love them. Go ahead. You have five minutes. Yeah, uh, about goddesses, I I also told about it. Uh, and at last, Demeter, uh, about Demeter, uh, she was really respected goddess for motherhood. Uh, I really liked uh, babies and really loved to play with them. And I also really helping person like goddesses Demeter. And this is uh, the character which matches uh, with goddesses Athena with me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm really, uh, I inspired myself. Uh, also, I'm really a strength person. Uh, this is my arts. Uh, these characters uh, which matches with uh, me, with Hestina. I'm really a kindness person, uh, forgiving and caring. You can see uh, the white things. That was a dog on my feet, uh, but I really afraid to go close to the dog. Uh, that's why I click picture so far away. Uh, this is about meter. I really love to play with children. Uh, yeah, that's all. Thank you, everyone. For having me. Okay, any questions or comments for Sauda? Okay, you can stop the screen share. All right, so um, everybody, one final comment about what you got out of the class, maybe the most, right? What sort of capstone in, I don't know, about one minute each and then we'll be done. Uh, Melanie, do you have any final comments? Um, really, I just enjoyed getting to see different perspectives of feminism, like around the world, really. Um, I enjoyed getting to know all of you guys and um, learning about your culture and where you come from. And I really enjoyed seeing um, some of the pictures of you guys on your presentations. So that was nice. Okay, so Melanie, you'll have to recommend this class to Lion students in the future, right? Don't you feel like you wish more than one student had signed up? Yeah, it would have been really nice to be with other Lion students and get to talk about the class more outside of class. But yeah, it would have been nice. I'll definitely recommend it for the future. You could write it in the evaluation if you want to, because then administrators will pay attention. Does that make sense? Yeah, I definitely will. I ha I still have to do mine, so I'll add okay. it. Um, okay. I mean, again, I don't want to control how you evaluate, but I think if you want to say that, that would help a lot for making, you know, motivating them to keep letting me offer it. That's the main thing. Um, okay, Rahima, what have you got? Whoops. All right, so are we missing one? Yes, ma'am, I'm here. I just want to say thank you all. Oh. Like, it was a great uh, session for everyone, with everyone. And, uh, like, thank you, especially thanks to you, ma'am. I, I really can say you have, uh, like, teached me a new way, like, to see the life in a profound way. Like, I never thought about so many things like the way before. Uh, now I think, as you have given uh, like uh pinches us to see the life in a di different in a deep way so thanks to you ma'am and i really like to 
like uh, uh, join the class with everyone uh, to know uh, everyone else, uh, everyone else tactics and uh, their cultures and all. And thank you so much to everyone. Yeah, well, I couldn't do it unless the students respond. Teachers, you know, I, I teach the same material and uh, different students respond. So the AUW students and Melanie were really good at responding. That was great. I was very humbled <laughs> by the whole thing. Um, let's see, Sauda. Professor, you... we have a small video and then uh, we'll oh, go. Oh, okay. okay. Is, okay. There we go. This is Mahira. First of all, I really want to thank you for your time you spent helping us to understand our course materials really easy. And I really enjoyed every lecture and discussions of ours throughout the whole semester. And once again, thank you for your patience. Hi, Professor. This is Habiba. Thank you so much for being a wonderful professor. You have truly inspired us to do better and you have shared your all knowledge with us. You always this is up at best. You are an amazing professor. And thank you for your working with the institute. Thank you, Professor. You are one of the best professors in the history of my life. Thank you for inspiring, caring, and guiding me. Thank you for helping me go along. Thank you so much, Professor, for being so kind and supportive throughout the semester. This semester went extra special because of your teaching and because of you. We'll all miss you and hope to see you somewhere. Thank you, Professor. Hello, Professor. Thank you so much for teaching us such a lovely way. We have learned a lot from your course that will help us in our future as well. So thanks a lot, Professor. Hello, ma'am. I just want to say thank you so much, ma'am, for being so nice, so kind, and so patient with us, and for teaching us so many new things. And I wish you a good health for always. Thank you, ma'am. Hope to see you soon. Well, the best thing you could do for me is to make sure to support each other all the time, right? No infighting on campus, no gossip, no cutting each other down. That, that's naughty and I'll get mad at you. So just make sure that you lift each other up, encourage each other. That's so important. Um, I do not know all the names. Like, I don't know who spoke just now and who didn't. So uh, we still have a few minutes. So I'll call on you. And if you say I was in the video, it's embarrassing, right? I don't know who's who. But anyway, so Roshani was in the video, right? Oh, that's nice. Oh, there they are. Oh, good. Okay. Is someone going to take a picture or someone tell me how to take a picture? <coughs> There's Marcia. There's everybody. Uh, Taslima, all these people. Um, how do you take a picture? Does somebody know how to do that? Uh, you can take the screenshot, ma'am. How do I do that? Uh, in each step of it's different. Guys, can you wait a few minutes, please, for me? What? OK, so is it down there on the bottom where it says, I don't know, chat says, Stop video security, participants, polls, chat, share screen. Professor, I am taking the screenshot, so I will oh, share okay. it with everybody. Okay. Everybody who's... Melanie, you can show your face. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Everybody who can show their face needs to show their face. Okay. Kaula, maybe you don't have enough juice. Amina, Puja, 
Roshani and Habiba. Are you there? Uh, yes, Professor. Actually, my network uh, connection problem is poor, so I couldn't able to. Okay, anything. that's I. Yeah, I understand that. Um, so I admire all of you for overcoming so many obstacles. I really, you should not only, I mean, all of you should have that same attitude toward each other, just sort of awed by it all. Um, yeah, and there might be problems at AUW and the things that annoy you and all that, but in the end, right, these are your buddies for life and the sisterhood, right, <laughs> carries on. Um, okay, well, thanks. Um, some of you, somebody wanted to meet with me after class to talk about their final paper. So, and again, I'll have office hours at the normal time every night. Um, Mahira, did everybody get Mahira's just as an example? I think I sent it, you know, I downloaded it and sent it as an attachment. I think you can get it now. Okay, Marzia, do you have a question? Uh, professor, uh, about Mahira's paper, two ways I have tried to reach, but it still it says that you need access permission. So I really want to have a look. But, right, uh, but yeah. I did download it and send it on another one. So I sent it just as an attachment that was downloaded. Is that also not? Can, I have, have tried two eyes. What? But uh, Professor uh, Mahira needs to give access to uh, review the document. Oh, I sorry. mean, uh, if we want, we can request her. I mean. We can uh, send out, we can uh, request her the access via email, then oh, she can. That's pretty complicated. Uh, yeah, can it is. <laughs> can Mahira, can you download it, Mahira, and put it just on a generic Word document and send it to me? Uh, I'm using Google Doc, so I can give it like editor access or what? No, just oh, the view. You just, just view. can give the view access, not yeah. the editor. Okay. Because if you do that, then your entire document may be edited by someone and yeah. it does not make sense. Nobody's going to edit it, right? Yeah. Wow. I sure wish I could have seen all of you during the class. It's too yes, bad. Sir. Um, but life will go on. We all have many obstacles. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting to see all my classmates in campus, meet them, meet them. All right, so it's, it's pretty complicated for some of you to get back to campus, right? You have to get your visa, you have to get your plane, you have to everybody get vaccinated. Okay, I can request access by email. Okay, well, I thought I did, but then how can I send that forward? That's... Those who got that uh, document, they can request access to me, then I can give them the viewer access. Oh, okay, so you can do it, okay. Oh, but okay. sorry, I didn't get how other get uh, like did ma'am share? I didn't find it in the Google Classroom. It's been shared in the Google Classroom. Uh, I think she sent us via email or Google Classroom. But then, uh, but uh, I since never Professor find is not the original um, owner of the document, a Professor cannot grant the access. So it's important that you uh, send the request to Mahira in order to view the document. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, but ma'am, I never got any email from you. I joined the class by like, uh, how can I say, like passcode and the meeting ID, and I never uh, like get any email from you. Did you? That was the AUW passcode, though. I think, right? I put everybody on Google because 
the Lion students don't have access to the AUW classroom. So every day I would send a link, right? So were you on the, were you not on the Google Classroom? Yes, I am on the Google Classroom, but ma'am, I informed you about this before that I think you have a wrong, uh, like, email id of me that is why it could be possible i don't receive any email from you like uh, i think you already you may have created a folder from all the students to send the link with their email id is that so and there this could be happened that my email id is wrong okay and and we didn't clear that up huh I, I told you before, but uh, I, I think I, I thought it's fine. I can join with the meeting ID and passcode, so I didn't bother you a lot. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm sorry. There was, yeah, there was one address that fine. wasn't, yeah, okay. It was really complicated at the beginning because I had yeah. almost 40 students and they kept coming and going, right? They kept yeah. adding and dropping and adding and dropping. And I just lost track, um, but hopefully I'll get a better get a better handle so on. How can I get uh, the paper from Mahira, ma'am? Can you say like can oh. I directly get it from her? I think Mahira can probably send it to you, or you can send Mahira okay, uh, an email. Right, just do it between the two of you. Sure, um, okay, so. <laughs> there's always this technological stuff but you guys are you know really good at high tech that's like your life your survival depends upon you being very savvy and that's that's great it's very good uh it's kind of amazing to me and this was true when i was in indonesia that the students in 2012 were more savvy about technology than the American students. And America is just gonna fall behind unless Americans realize that they have to work. <laughs> they gotta work their butts off to keep up with you all. Uh, but that's okay with me. <laughs> uh, I apologize for colonialism, but you know, this is my way of giving back. And I really hope you know, for the best. Um, and I'm glad you're overcoming those ideological problems, right? The belief systems that, you know, I, you know, even colonialism can't, can't fix it. If you, you know, if your own people tell you that you can't go to school and stuff. So those are the things that you have to fix. Um, the thing I wish I could fix is the way international corporations are exploiting everybody and that, yeah, I just want to let you know, I'm not unaware of that. And also like, we all do what we can. We just do what we can. Um, okay. So Kala, if you want to just email Mahira, that's it. There's her name. Is your name Mahira? Is it just Mahira.Hassan at AUW? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so just do that. Anybody who wants her to look at her paper. Um, anyway, it's just an example. I want all of you to be different. It's just one example. Yeah, Mahira? Some of them are saying that they have sent me request access, but I'm refreshing my page. Uh, but there is no request or notification like that. All right. So does anybody else, did anyone else, let's see. Could other people who got it forward it to anybody or does it have to come straight from you? If anybody could access them, they can share others. Otherwise I will share from my doc account by giving viewer access. Yeah, okay. Um, Uh, let's see. Well, I hope you can work out the kinks. Um, but it is 10.15, so if people want to go, 
Uh, I think it's final week, right? You all have lots to do. Uh, professor, I can see, I mean, Mahira's document. Um, yeah, there's not, you'll have to somehow work it out with Mahira, I think. Well, there's Amina. I haven't seen a picture of her <laughs> forever. Very good. Um, again, I, I don't think I can figure this out with Mahira. You'll have to work with her, I think. Um, Without sending any, any request, I can see her document. So why not others? Brishti, it is viewer access, right? Because I gave viewer access. Um, let's see if I can. All right. Oops. Um, um, here is Professor, big. nothing can be done from your end. Really? So okay. actually, she has to uh, send us the um, access. So. Okay. Just inform me who wants it. I will share with you guys directly by giving viewer access. All right, well, how many people have another exam today? I have chemistry exam. I have yeah. math. I mean, you can go, you can go study. You don't have to stay. Okay, bye-bye, Professor. Bye-bye, Kalma. Bye-bye, Professor. I have also exam. Bye-bye, ma'am. Bye-bye. Bye, Professor. Bye-bye, Professor. Wish you good health, ma'am. Yeah, I wish all of you the best. I hope everything you, works out. You can get back to school. You can do your thing. Um, Professor, is it possible to talk to you uh, either on Tuesday or Wednesday? I will send out you an email as well. No, no, I need to talk to you. It's every night the same, or every morning. You know, it's the same time. That... No, actually, so since this is uh, our exam week, we won't have any classes, right? Uh, so you might forgot. I mean, uh, the, uh, oh, so okay. actually, I will be sending out an email because, like, since we don't have class, you won't, you don't need to send us any links or you don't need to take our classes. So it might be um, the fact that you might be occupied with other stuffs at the moment. So. <laughs> well, actually, I'm less preoccupied, but you can always remind me. I'm, you know, I'm absent-minded. Um, I did. <laughs> okay, Professor. I did. I think I read all the goddesses' papers that had come in as of a, a day or two ago. And I think the professor, I also have exams, so I'm leaving. Yep. Uh, see you. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Bye bye. Well, there's bye, Christy. professor. Professor, thank you, professor. Sure. My home. Take Very care. Of professor. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Um, so, Breezy, it's nice to see you. I don't think I've seen you. I just see you standing in front of a painting every day <laughs> yeah so that's good yeah now can see, you can see me professor and hopefully we can meet in person soon yeah hopefully what 15 16 months oh you don't come to campus professor eh? not until a year from january so uh oh yeah 
the Tamsin professor. <laughs> we are eagerly, I mean, waiting for you. That's okay. Yeah, there's so many good professors at AUW and they really care about you so much. I know they do because I work with them, you know? So yeah, but I think, I mean, everyone is special, I mean, <laughs> in each field, so. Yeah, professor, and um, for Marjal's document, sorry, Mahira's document, I'm saying that I can see her document. You can see it? Yeah, I mean, without uh, sending any request to access, I can see. Oh, okay. I don't know how these technological book. 